हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज यश एंड वेलकम टू दाइल स्पीयर न्यूज अपडेट फॉर ऑगस्ट थर्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट्स डाइव इन टू टॉप स्टोरीज फ्रॉम द टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री द तमिलनाडु पावर लूम एसोसिएशन हैव डिसाइडेड टू विदड्रॉ देयर वन डे स्ट्राइक which was initially planned to protest the use of polyester yarn in the production of pongal sarees after discussions with government officials the association agreed to reconsider the strike focusing instead on negotiation to address their concerns this decision came as the industry seeks to balance traditional practices with the modern production needs yarn mills in bilwara rajasthan are facing operational disruptions due to the ongoing economic crisis in bangladesh which is significant importer of yarn from india The crisis has led to decrease in orders affecting production schedules and causing concerns among manufacturers about potential long term impacts. Amid fear of potential losses, several farmers have shifted plowing back their cotton crops and are opting to plant paddy instead. This shift is attributed to the uncertain market conditions for the cotton influenced by fluctuating prices and unstable demand, prompting farmers to switch to more reliable and less volatile paddy crop. The non-woven fabric market is projected to witness significant growth with expectations to reach USD 82.93 million by 2030 growing at an impressive CAGR of 7.43%. This growth is driven by increased demand across various industries including healthcare and automotive where non-woven fabrics are increasingly being used due to their versatility and cost effectiveness. China's textile export reached 42 billion in the first half of 2024 with fabric exports accounting for a substantial 80% of this total. Despite global economic challenges, China's industry continued to dominate the market with strong performance in fabric production and exportation. That's wrap for today's update. Thank you for tuning in to the Textile Sphere news update. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay informed about the latest in the textile industry. See you tomorrow with more updates. Thank you.